Good to see you, Senator. Good to see you. Well, you know, I don't want to bore you with some of the things that have already been so eloquently articulated around the table, but I, I thought it was important and special, and I see Congressman Keith Ellison walking in. Uh, Hey. Hey. There he is. How you doing? <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Hey. Sorry I'm running so late. I uh, forgive me for actually going to go catch an airplane. And uh, But Senator Franken, thank you for convening this very important meeting. Uh, the issue of health care disparities is essential to how we move forward on health care. And uh, it's, a, it's in the bill, you know, and so well, it's, it's in there, and I think that all the people around this table who've been advocating over the years, uh, you'd be, I think you'd be happy to see what's in there or to, to address health care disparities, but the real fight is to keep it in there. So there's no doubt that uh, the, the energy that you all have uh, brought to the debate so far is going to have to be sustained until we get the president signing on the dotted line. Um, and. Uh, you know, in terms of numbers and statistics, you guys are experts on all that. But I, I will say that, um, it, 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 that one of the big challenges that we're facing is that, uh, and Al is the expert on the Senate, but uh, is that, you know, I don't know if we're going to end up in reconciliation or if we're going to get 60. But if we do 60, then we can keep it in. If we don't, then we might have some people challenging this health, this disparity stuff as extraneous which uh, could be mean that it could be snatched out. That's, that's why we gotta get to six. That's why we gotta get to six. So, so with that, I'm gonna just uh, go catch my plane. I'm gonna thank you all for the great work you're doing. And can, my, if I may just say so, you know, campaigns are full of hyperbole, right? But I, I, I will say in this post-campaign period, now that we're not talking about senatorial candidate uh, Franken, but Senator Ken, uh, Franken, that I am just flat out overjoyed to have have him in the Senate. So far, he and I have paired up on, on child nutrition. Uh, he has introduced, uh, he's been a part of an effort to put a medical loss ratio issue to make sure that if we're gonna mandate that 49 million new Americans get health care, that these companies can't just be claiming 30% overhead as they have been in the past. They're gonna have to shrink that down uh, to at least uh, uh, Eighty-five percent. I think they can get to ninety. You know, um, and so and you got to keep that in, in the House bill because um, I'm pushing that on the Senate side. Mm -hmm. and Senator Rockefeller pushed it uh, in the Finance Committee. It didn't get. We, he knew we weren't going to win in the Finance Committee. Right, right, right. But uh, I want uh, you guys. You got to keep it. In there. You got to keep it in there because I uh, I think we'll get more. More than 15, and no, uh, in in the amendment on the floor, and if you guys keep it in, yeah, it, it'll and, and keep it in uh, uh, in the conference. Sure. And what that is, what that issue is, is that in Minnesota, 91 cents out of every dollar that goes to health insurance goes to health care, and in the rest of the country, it can be as low as 70 cents. Yes. And we got to. Uh, May, uh, we just want to make sure if these, as you said, if they're going to get 40 million new uh, customers. customers that we're subsidizing, <laughs> that they better uh, put that money into health care and not in the profits. Yeah, and so let me just say is that, and I really do mean a little bit. Last night we were on a uh, forum talking about uh, HIV and AIDS, White House uh, Advisory Committee. Uh, your senator was eloquent. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and in passion. And Al, I just want to tell you this. I'm so glad you're still funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so sincerely. I mean, it's it's who you are. It's in your DNA. And, and I don't want you to be all serious all the time. I mean, it, a little levity, you know, goes a long way. And so... Well, fortunately, this is a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... So you guys, uh, forgive me. Bobby <laughs> Joe, come on. No. <laughs> Bobby, pretty funny. <laughs> so look, you guys, I'm, uh, I'm, I gotta, go, I gotta have a little run down to St. Louis. Be back tomorrow night. But love you all. Representative Frank, you the bottom. Yeah. Representative uh, Champion, you the man. Who else is? <laughs> all right, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. But this just shows 
the, the importance of your, uh, your fight around the health uh, disparities discussion, because it has been a lot around insurance and coverage, but, but not as much around health disparities. And so I just think that was important for you to say that, especially in this district. One reason why I wanted to be here, of course, you and I have seen each other, talked to each other, and traveled with each other on many different occasions, but I wanted to talk about, because here on 58B, you know, when you think in terms of uh, uh, our health, you know, uh, prototype of look, you know, it, we are the worst when it comes to diabetes. Mm -hmm. We're the worst when it comes to cancer. We're amongst the worst when it comes to, if not the worst, when it comes to STDs. Mm -hmm. And so that bleak picture is very important here. And when we think in terms of the, the importance of pre pre preventative care, being an important discussion, and also pre preventative care when you think in terms of dental work. You know, a doctor being able to look in there and see if there's something strange going on. And so we just want to make sure those important uh, notions are put forward. Um, the other thing that uh, I've learned a whole lot about, and Helena talked a little more about, you know, the church initiatives, which I think is really important when you think in terms of access and using non-traditional models by which to deal with communities of color, is, is also around doulas. You know, most folks understand the importance of doulas and how doul doulas can, uh, you know, be very successful because in, in this district, we have one of the highest rates of infant mortality. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, only some healthcare providers mm -hmm. will provide services for doulas. Uh, but when you think in terms of those who really need it, like low-income mothers, you know, Medicare and the other, you know, other related programs don't really pay for it because it's a coding question. Mm -hmm. So I introduced legislation along with Representative Lane around making sure, you know, there's this registry for doulas and also making sure this notion of continuous care is there. Um, uh, but when we think in terms of coverage, it, there's a coding question. So, you know, I've been dealing with Congressman Ellison's office and also Congresswoman Betty McCullum, and so I think I'm going to, you know, talk a little more, and I did talk to someone in your Washington office about this, but I just wanted to make sure that we were highlighting those issues um, of health disparity, and so I just really, you know, thank you for having this discussion, and, and, and we are, you know, positioned strategically to help with this fight.